Hi guys, Ruggiero here from One Foot in the Door and today we're looking at a very old performance by Harold Lloyd, okay? Uh, Harold Lloyd was one of the greats in the silent cinema uh, era, uh, great comedians, okay? And this was recommended by Eric Zama, so thank you very much Eric. Uh, now, when we, are so, when we think of those comedians in the old days, uh, we think of big physical performances, uh, things that, you know, that would be physically difficult to do, but we don't usually associate them with what nowadays we consider to be good screen acting. Uh, most people nowadays associate screen acting with depth of emotions and uh, sort of serious acting, if you like. Um, I want to show you how wrong that is, <laughs> okay? Uh, for me, great screen acting and the power of screen acting specifically, even more than uh, acting on the stage, is allowing the audience to read the character's mind, okay? To really make us feel what the character is feeling and thinking. And I think Harloy does a fantastic job in this, uh, this clip. So. Uh, there is a tiny bit of context, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Um, so, this is the movie Never Weaken, by the way, uh, which is 1921. So, in this little movie, uh, basically he decided to kill himself uh, for love and stuff. So he tries to kill himself in many different ways and he's always uh, failing. So he sets up this elaborate trap where he's got a gun pointed at his, at his chest and it's tied up to a string so when someone opens the door the gun will go off and he will die. So he has blindfolded himself and calls the janitor to come up to his room, to his office, okay? And let's see what happens next. classic slapstick uh, scenario from the old days. It, it reminds me of a cartoon, a Bugs Bunny cartoon. It's the same type of crazy type of coincidences and things that happen. So it, it's not strictly speaking believable, but it's hilarious. But let's see what happens next. That moment there uh, is fantastic screen acting. We can tell exactly what he's thinking moment by moment. You know, the, the excitement, the beautiful feelings of the thinking he's ended up in heaven. And then that moment when he realizes that, no, he's not. And then he checks and then he's like, oh my God, where am I? <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it wouldn't need to be any smaller today. That's the interesting thing here. Uh, sure, a lot of other stuff are 
proper of the style if we look more the, the next bit that happened is all physical and and it is obviously comedic it is obviously over the top and everything but that one reaction there could work just as it is uh, in a modern movie absolutely because it is about the thought process and it is about allowing us to see what he's thinking and feeling and he just does that so extremely well it's it's unbelievable let's watch it one more time just that section Absolutely brilliant. That is a great use of what I call a specific reaction, so which is a reaction that allows us to see exactly what the character is thinking and feeling. Uh, there's a difference between specific and non-specific reactions. So I talked about it in a previous uh, video, and I go very much in depth about this in my online screen acting course, Unboxing Screen Acting. Volume 1 is available now. Check out the link below. You can get a free lesson. And volumes 2 and 3 are coming up. Uh, soon okay anyway uh, thank you very much Eric for recommending this and guys let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you soon thank you very much bye bye